All right, so we are back. We are here. Um, there's Jim, being Jim as always. Wait, I don't want to do that. No, that doesn't do anything. Go back to Anchor's room. Hmm, that will mild weak sauce. <laughs> All right. What news, Uncle? This case is quickly moving beyond the realm of science. This bolt was nestled in the wreckage. In the wreckage, I see it feels. Hmm, and the writing on it, these writhing symbols. This is precisely what I mean. It's first wise. First what? First wise is sort of the shorthand term. These symbols are in the year tongue, the very language of magic. Why it be? Why it would be inscribed on a bolt is beyond me. The, this is pure anachronism. It has no place in the modern world. Is your lab equipment equipped to improve our weapons? Yes, among other things. However, we we'll need great heaps of parts from these tiny robots you mentioned. Yes. 42 parts to upgrade my weapons. So... Ah, no. Well, it's construction is constantly in flux. Its structure is constantly in flux, making it challenging to study. And there is a compound within it that I cannot define. Perhaps the compound is, is evil itself. <sighs> Uncle, evil is not a matter of scientific inquiry. Any places we ought to try? Well, if it's our ever in the Hobo Alley slums have been rewarded, perhaps we should press deeper. We might also Pelican Bay Boardwalk. Yes. Ornate circle of brass inlaid with a finely lettered button marked ACF. I, will, I won't always be available, but time permitting, I will ever. Ooh. <laughs> yes, I hope so. Hey. Look at that a moment. The camper appears content to sit here until needed. Nice. Pelican Bay. <laughs> ah, the Pelican Bay Boardwalk. Fun, games. Also, murder and dark magic. Bring the kids. Is that a giant gear leaning against the wall? Giant gear, obviously a clue from the giant robot. Uh, gi this is either an ice cream cone or some delicious new snail. <laughs> Funny. Can I talk to the dude? There we go. As you approach the the waxen man and the booth appears to come to life. You sir, that is you that is to say you sir. Indeed, indeed, I singled you out at the first moment I sensed it immediately. Who are you? I am Curtis Swindell, reputable vendor. Uh, the, I am the Pelican Bay gate attendant, as well as the Pelican Bay gift shop owner. I also operate the ticket booth and concessions, everything really, I miss. You know, 
You should stay. You should know that we Pel we at Pelican Bay accept only the form of currency, the the only form of currency worth anything around here. Love, please let it be love. No, no, no. You accept only tokens, boardwalk tokens, obviously. Why does this distract? Why does this just have its own money? Uh, well, I see. I suppose I have my own purposes for them. But in there, on the walk, everyone just gives them to her. No one moves without her say, without her say so. You say her? What do you mean? Ah, you will find out soon enough. We need to get into the boardwalk. Oh, of course. I'll just need to see your tickets. I assume we purchased from these from you? Why would you assume something like that? Um, well, there are really a lot of reasons. Like, for example, you're standing in a ticket booth. Sir, sir, please lower your voice. But I... Sir, I, Curtis Swindell, also act as security on the boardwalk. We are licensed to sodomize unruly vis visitors. I don't think that would... I don't think I would like that. Well then, perhaps you mind your tone. I can't bear all these savings. I must flee. <laughs> this expression. Yes, yes, I come in enough currents. You'll be back, oh yes. Drawn to my bargains like a moth to a... To a... To a bargain. No, oh, it's a moth to a flame. If you didn't already know what the saying was. Oh, do we have to... No! Do we have to? Do we have to? Darn. Okay. We'll go to Hobo Alley then. We'll find all the fruit fuckers and we'll get all the birds. Does that suitcase still have um fruit fuckers in it? Hope so. Nope. <laughs> Which be gone, Jesus. There's more fruit fuckers. Murder. Yes. Tico Bra has done the uh, initiative thing. Do we get any more parts? Yes, we got ten parts. Okay, let's go to Anne Claire's and upgrade my uh, my thingy me who he rake. What? I can have the maid take it to the street with the other garbage. Oh shit. Oh shit. Slightly better rake. <laughs> More powerful than an original rake. Alright. Wait. Hot toddy. 
A tragic waste of liquor. Uh, we'll just go back to Hub Valley. Excuse me. All right. Um. Not in juice. Doctor Hard Liquid Armor. Oh, what's this? Who are you? Oh, this guy. I remember this guy. The twitching diminutive man looks poking is poking feverishly at a series of cardboard boxes. Small nameplate reads Dr. Arnold P. Wimple, urinologist. Oh. Sir, if I could. No! I can't. I haven't, and I won't. I won't. I don't have time for you right now. This is a critical juncture. Good day. He, com he seems completely absorbed, absorbed in whatever he's doing. Alright. Leave you to your business then. Latin and juice. I clicked on it. There we go. Gauze. Tectonic. Where, where did you come from? <laughs> did you get like stuck back there? Gauze. More gauze. Gotta get all the collectibles. Lightning juice. We will eventually have to fight hobos in this game. So. Ah, there they are. It's a big ol' wind-up key. Tico wins! That's what happens. Doesn't happen all the time, but it happens sometimes. Uh, T camper will unload massive, massive amounts of damage once he when he uh, barfs all over the place. I'm glad I got it on camera. <laughs> yeah, there it is. It's the sickest still right there. Oh, don't step in it. Oh. Nothing. Empty. Danger! <laughs> I win. Let's go for the big dude. You're getting out to you, fellow Harry Fowler's crime. Not sure that's con. Fuck. These guys are crazy. Actually. Damn! Oh, I just missed. Get fucked. Yeah, I got him out. Counter attack. Resistant to punches. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. T 
Tico, I guess you're gonna have to just sit this one out. Dodge as much as you can, dude. Got it. Seven, Jesus. Oh, what? League versus firearms. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, we're gonna take we're gonna take to take care of everyone. Also, I said take care for him earlier. It's uh Johnny Gabriel. Sorry. Oh, he's dead. He did. Oh, he healed himself. Oh, shit. No, oh, well, it's not a watch. Didn't do much, but whatever. Got him down to nine. And of course, you healed yourself. Well, he's dead, anyways. Meat? Hobo meat. Oh. There's a patch on there. Oh. Meat really isn't great, A, eh, if you get my meaning. Yeah, I gotcha. Jesus. Yay, giant wind up key. Alright, let's get this back to, uh, actually, let's break up this box before we go. Empty. Better than poking your eye out. Uh, let's take it back to Aunt Claire. See what she wants to do with it. All right, since I swapped this vision out, I hardly know where to begin. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip everything. My standards are getting progressively lower at this point. Uh, I would settle for relatively few lizards. It weighs heavy on my mind. This place seems nice. Does your family own another one? I shall ask when they return. I believe that will be next year. Ah. Alright, we're ready to go to work. I would suggest Pelican Bay then. No! I need a ticket! I can't... Back to Hobo Valley then. I still have this gum. I've had this pack of gum since Christmas and there's only one piece missing. This piece. This pack of gum. Whoa. Crazy lightning. Oh, he's scared now. What are you scared of? You gotta help me. Well, it'll be nice. I'll be with what? I'm James Filth. I collect trash. That's great, James. It's good to have a hobby. I don't keep it. It's not for me. I'm a garbage man. Just listen to my goddamn story. Oh. Tell me your troubles, trash monger. So I reached down lovingly, tenderly, picked to pick up the morning's garbage, and it bit me. Right in the... Mm, the... who? What? The trash itself. Not some rodent or savage hobo. You heard right. Then it said my mom was a... Well, it sounds something mean about my mom. Typical. Scandalous. Living garbage? Okay. Talking garbage? That's fine. But rude garbage? Not on my watch. <laughs> I love Tickle Bra. So you'll help? Well, Gabe, 
here thirst for murder, and Chris just has his house has had his house demolished. So I think there might be some aggression here. Sorry to hear about that. What neighborhood? That was on Desperation Street. Oh yeah, good trash up there. <laughs> Jeez. What's in it for us? Oh, you'd be surprised what people throw away. I'll make sure you get your reward. Alright. Well, I bet the rent around here is very cheap. Oh, you looking? Yeah, that's... Yeah, the rent's right, right as rain, but the landlords, you gotta look out for. This is one of the bosses. Spoiler alert. Guy that runs this shithole up north? Blonde fella? I'd probably stay away from that one. Oh, James has something special waiting for you. Yeah, better looking very token. I always do right by them that help. Alrighty. There's one right there. Gorgogong. Goong. Snoop snarp. Exclamation point. Oh, Tico got a nat 20. Hell yeah. Got him. Whoa! Oh, defense up. Oh, well. And death. What did we find? God damn, Tika. Trash remaining. Oh, we gotta take out. Okay. Um. What was this? Is there a heaven for apples? You hope so. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Uh, we will continue with the uh, the trash crusade in the next episode.